Hey guys. Um, let's just get straight into it. So, I know everybody is like wondering like what is going on at Wesley? A lot. Disclaimer. This video has no intentions on bashing Wesley College at all. This video was not made to make anybody feel uncomfortable. This video was not made to scare incoming students. This video was just made to address what's been going on. First things first, the hashtag. So, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, which was Saturday, um, I created this hashtag, and I created it, and it was titled, Wesley College Exposed. How did I come up with it? Where did it come from? Why do I want to expose Wesley College? So, I watched both seasons of Their White People, and after watching Their White People, I saw some issues on the show that are happening at Wesley College and I felt as though they were able to speak their minds so why can't we? So I decided to make the hashtag expose Wesley College mainly to expose the inequality, the disregard the things that we go through the concerns you know the issues within the school itself so that's why the hashtag is called exposed well wesley college exposed i feel as though the school needs to be exposed um just by the way things are handled at the school me being a rising junior at Wesley College, you know, I have seen things at Wesley where we just need to change. Things need to change. I don't think, you know, changing things in the school itself is going to make the school change I don't think getting new administration is going to make the school change everybody needs to be on the same page so that way everybody can come together as one to see this change it's like people misinterpret people misinterpreted the hashtag by taking it out of context the hashtag was created to bring awareness to the to the situations, the social issues, the um, the issues, the concerns. Was it was basically the hashtag was created to bring awareness to the social issues, the concerns, and basically like how students want to get their voice heard but we're unable to that's that was the main concept of the hashtag and how we can make things better me personally i can't change how people feel um but i can say from my perspective that i never bashed the school in any way i never um yeah never bash the school in any way i spoke how i feel and we have the freedom of speech so i feel like it should not it should not be a problem but the problems should be addressed so with that hashtag being created Yes, yeah, some people took it too far, but 
that still doesn't mean that those problems or those issues that they were being talked about still don't exist at Wesley. So, for those watching this video, the meaning behind the hashtag is to create awareness to the problems at Wesley College and for the questions that we want answered to be answered. I'm tired of getting the runaround. I'm tired of being pointed in other directions. I'm tired of nobody knowing anything. And I'm tired of being just like sent one place, one place, one place, and nobody has, everybody's giving me see me into, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way, and if anybody feels offended, I'm completely sorry, um, but I just wanted to bring light to the situation, and I just wanted to guys, I just wanted to let you guys know the meaning behind the hashtag, all the negativity that I'm getting about the hashtag you know it's really annoying when people I see people every day talking about how Wesley needs to change and we need this and we need that but then you're sitting here and you're basically coming for me attacking me personally about a hashtag that I created that I feel like will bring awareness to this school. To my incoming freshmen, if you're watching this, um, don't let what happened on Twitter affect your decision about Wesley. Because this hashtag has nothing to do with the school. Trust me, the academics are wonderful. This just has something to do with how we feel as a student body and how we get treated on a daily basis so i don't want anybody out here to take my words and misconstrue them and say oh well she's exposing wesley um she's bashing the school i'm not bashing the school i never once said anything bad about wesley college as a whole i just wanted to put this video out to let you guys know what's been going on and we're not stopping here it's going to be three more parts to this video i feel like before this gets even further i'd rather let you guys know what the hashtag is about so you guys can really think about some of the things that were being said were like what and like what does that even mean how is that even a part of what we're talking about? Half of the stuff that was being said, I was confused because I'm just like, um, it's not what the hashtag is about, but okay. At the end of the day, everybody at Wesley College is a leader. From the people who were on the hashtag, I feel like some, most people were on the same page as me. Some people, you know, y'all had your own way of, a way of thinking and that's alright. But I just want everybody to be on the same page. The next time when you hashtag Wesley College Exposed, I need you guys to use it in the right context. Please and thank you. The hashtag is to create awareness to the social issues at Wesley College and to bring our unanswered questions to the light so we can get answers for the things that we have no answers to. So to all my fellow Wesley College students, my fellow people watching, I just want to say thank you for supporting. 